Hey guys, it's your girl Queen Ash and I'm back with another video. Um, one sec. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful Sunday evening. Um, it's about like 5.13. Um, just woke up from a nap, you know, kind of trying to relax and get ready for the upcoming week. And the upcoming week isn't too bad and too crazy because, um, of course, with me now working at the school, our schedule, like my schedule is like the kids, we have our Christmas break. And the same with the dance studio, we have our Christmas break. So I'm about to go on a little break, which is nice so that I can rest because let me tell you, Vlogmas has been crazy with me doing it the first time this year. But I'll get more into why I did Vlogmas and everything in a little bit. But first, I just want to say I hope you guys are all safe and well. And I hope you guys are enjoying much needed time with your families and especially relaxing today and kind of unwinding and recovering so you can get ready for your upcoming week. And yeah, so let's get into today's video. Today, I'm just going to, of course, by the title, you guys probably already know, I'm going to talk about what is on my Christmas list. So, um, hey, Blaze, you wanted to say hi? <laughs> so what's on my christmas list i already have him so that's the best christmas gift ever but um i didn't really have a christmas list and you're probably like girl you want something of course i want something but i really don't um there's not something that i like urged that i felt like i really needed of course a new phone would be great because um i always like to stay up to date with the new phones and especially with what i'm doing um i kind of need a little bit more camera photogenic type of thing going on so i need that with the phone and everything but right now i'm good but it would be nice to have a phone so the iphone 12 maybe i would like that that's something on like a wish list if i had to say a wish list because of course like i said i didn't ask for anything for christmas I think the only thing I asked for Christmas was, let me see, I think it was a LED mirror um, where I could do my makeup. So right now in my room, I have just like a little, uh, not little, it's actually a big mirror on my dresser where I have like my flat irons, um, perfumes, lotions, all that good stuff, skincare. I have a mirror, so I don't really need um to like go into the bathroom kind of and do my makeup sometimes but i would love to have like led um lights on there so it can be a little brighter because my room light is not as bright and i don't want to turn on like all the lights just to get you know a good shot of doing my makeup but that is something i definitely would like um and honestly as i'm thinking that's the only thing i really recall asking for um my parents probably watching this probably like, girl you asked for this that and the third but definitely parents comment below if i did ask for something else and i just forgot but honestly i really don't remember what i asked for because i really don't want anything i have everything i need right now um being with my family seeing my family being alive is you know a blessing and a gift in itself and then also celebrating the birth of jesus christ is what it's all about let's not forget that um, but yeah, let's talk about my Christmas wish list. So, of course, I would like a new phone. So I want the iPhone. I'll put a picture up of that so you guys can see. Um, but of course, by now, you guys all probably have the iPhone 12, like the new one. So you already know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I would love that. Um, I did want the Kylie Jenner, uh, the Grinch collection, the makeup collection that just came out. But it was sold out and it literally sold out in like minutes hours like maybe an hour not even um and it was a couple of days before my birthday that they launched that so hopefully they come back out with that on shelves a little bit soon um let's see what else is on my wish list oh that's tasty 
Um, some new shoes would be nice. And I'll put up a picture of the shoes that I want. Oh, now that I'm speaking of shoes, I did remember what I wanted. So I asked for these Kobe Bryant shoes. Um, I'll put the picture up of what they actually look like. I forget where I saw them. Um, honestly, it was probably scrolling on one of my pages that I follow for basketball um, or looking on his wife's page on Instagram. I think I came across it. And right when I saw it, I was like, I have to have a pair of these. I have to. So um, I believe that is another thing I asked for, but of course it's on my wish list. Um, and then, I mean, I'm like gift cards, like, you know, give me a pink gift card, Victoria's Secrets, Alta Beauty, um, what else? Where's their shop? Kohl's, I shop at Kohl's a lot. Um, that would be great to have for active wear. Um, Nike. Um, but yeah, so I said the phone was on my wish list. The um, Kobe Bryant shoes is on my wish list. Oh, what would be on my wish list is a Kobe Bryant jersey. I'll put a picture of jersey up here so you guys can see which one I'm talking about so that would be nice to have a Kobe Bryant jersey but they are I know expensive so I'm not like oh I need this like I need it but um, I can certainly wait for it but that's like a wish list type of gift um, so I said the phone LED mirror Kobe Bryant shoes jersey um, another thing that would be nice that I would put on my wish list would be a new computer. Um, now that I'm doing more with the videos for YouTube and like my podcast, which I will be back on that soon, guys. Don't forget, stay tuned for my podcast. I did not forget. It's just been busy this month, of course, a lot of things personally, and then doing videos every day for Vlogmas has just kind of consumed my time. But I did not forget about my podcast. Um, so a new computer would be definitely nice. I want the desktop. I'll put a picture up right here so you guys can see which one I'm talking about. It's just, I like looking at a big screen and then also with editing, it would be nice to have a bigger screen to kind of like see things and move things around. Cause right now I do everything legit. You probably don't even know. I do everything on my phone right now. And right now I'm okay with that. But of course, as I get, you know, into more videos and doing this more, I do want um, that type of computer, the desktop apple computer um so that would be nice um i am trying to decorate my room more so maybe like some art pieces or some things that i can put up definitely shelves i wouldn't really say that's on a wish list but for me that's a wish list because that's something that i want to like decorate my room and get that situated so that would be lovely to have um yeah, I don't really have much on my wish list. You know, if I had to make a wish list, those would be the items that I would say would be like a nice, you know, wishful thinking type of gift. But of course, the certain things that I did mention are things that I would probably end up getting on my own anyway. So, you know, if nobody else, you know, already had got it for me, I would get it for myself, which I am saving up for that computer because that desktop computer is not cheap, y'all. Right, Blazy. It is not cheap. It costs money, baby. Mwah. Yeah, it's not cheap. So, um, what else? I think that's it, right, buddy? That's all on mommy's wish list because mommy got the best gift of all you. Mwah. You're the best gift. I love you. I love this boy so much, y'all. Blazy, say hi to the people. Say hi. Hi, people say I love you <laughs> as you get older I'm sure a lot of people can relate as you get older around this time or just in general of course you get things that you want on your own but especially around Christmas it's kind of like you want to gift other people and I've always been that way I've always wanted to gift other people I'm not saying I haven't in the past but I just feel like now more than ever I'd love to give 
more than I receive. I don't need anything. And of course, I, that's probably just me being so independent and trying to do things on my own that I'll do it myself or I'll get it myself before I ask anybody else to get it for yeah, me. Yeah, comment below what you guys have on your Christmas list or your Christmas wish list, you know? Some people might not want anything this year, um, but they probably have like things that, you know, if somebody had to ask, like, what do you want? You have to say something. You know, you always have that one fa like family member or friend that's like, I'm not taking no for an answer. You have to give me something that you want. There has to be something that you want. So definitely let me know in the comments below what's on your Christmas list and your Christmas wish list. Basically why I did Vlogmas. Let's get into that. So I've always loved watching YouTube videos of other YouTubers. And every time I saw around this year, there would be so many people doing Vlogmas. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do this. And every time I said that, I was like, are you sure you want to do this? Because it's a lot of commitment. I'm just going to say that right off the bat. It's a lot of commitment. And at the end, I'll kind of share like three main uh, pieces of advice for people that want to do this next year to kind of help you guys out a little bit. But basically, I wanted to do it because I saw, you know, the joy it brought for viewers seeing these type of videos, you know. So it gave, gave them something to look forward to each day leading up to Christmas. And if you don't know already, um, those that know me, I love Christmas. So I definitely wanted to jump on this and do this for my viewers, my family, my people. You guys, I love you. Thank you so much for watching my videos and staying tuned every single day that I've put a video up this month. And it's not been easy, but it's been fun. And it's also as me being a new up and coming um youtuber and vlogger it's helped me stay consistent and it's helped me learn so much through posting videos each week um each day within the week so i would definitely say that's why i did it because i wanted to learn new things and kind of navigate around the do's and the don'ts type of thing and learn for myself sometimes you have to do things yourself so that you can learn and understand rather than just hearing somebody else say, oh, this is my pro and this was my con. And then you're kind of just like, oh, okay, all right. And you're not just, you're not doing it yourself, you know? So sometimes you have to do it yourself to kind of know what your pro is, what your con is, because it's not gonna be the same as other people's. So that's definitely why I also wanted to do this, to just learn. And I'm always willing to learn more about things. So I think that's also why I did this because I want to learn more about you know why vlogmas is so important why everybody love like you know why people love watching videos each and every day and i think now more than ever another reason why i did it because we need it you know during this time there's so much happening and 2020 has been crazy for everybody so i think you know each day posting a video whether it just be something simple like this that i'm doing today or something funny or something you know like a prank or a challenge type of thing or just having you come into my day and my life type of thing i feel like sometimes just the simplest things is what people need and now more than ever a lot of people need distractions and types of you know moments where they can take a quick laugh on their day at work or when they're just home and they don't know what to do or they don't have anything to do. You know, I think that's also why I did this because, you know, we need this right now. We need a lot of laughter. We need a lot of joy. We need a lot of coming together and, you know, just sharing and giving, you know, giving and receiving type of thing. So that's also why I wanted to do this. And let's see. Um, I also did vlogmas. The last thing I'll say is I did vlogmas because I wanted to challenge myself. I've always liked challenges and I've always wanted to grow and I've always wanted to learn. So doing this, I have been able to not only grow, but I've also been able to learn and challenge myself. And those three things, um, you know, you can do it in different ways, but this month and without even knowing it, those were the three things that I was faced with is growing, um, being challenged and learning. So I definitely have learned a lot throughout this process. I've definitely grown and I definitely, um, I feel like I've been more consistent. This has allowed me to be consistent and this has also challenged me because it's challenged my creativity. And I love to be creative, especially as a dancer. 
um i have to have that type of i have that creativity already and i have to be creative in different ways in many ways so this has allowed me to you know use my creative juices that has kind of been you know simmered down a little bit and i haven't been able to use them like i wanted to so this has kind of brought that back out for me which i really appreciate and i um really grateful for this process and i would say to those of you that are watching this you know do something that's going to challenge you you know sometimes we don't like to be put outside of our comfort zones and we have to we just have to you know so that's the only way sometimes you're going to learn something is to be uncomfortable you know be okay with being uncomfortable and i said something like this on my podcast if you haven't listened check out my podcast guys but you know sometimes we have to be okay with being uncomfortable and this definitely challenged me and we have to be okay with being challenged you know if you're not challenged are you really learning you know and not to say if you're not being challenged you're not learning but you know what i mean like if you really challenge yourself you're going to learn something out of that that you didn't learn by doing it the simple way if you know what i mean so this definitely has challenged me and this definitely has helped me be consistent which brings me to uh, my last little spiel on why i did vlogmas this year um advice i would give to you guys that want to do this is stay consistent if you don't stay consistent it's not gonna you're gonna fall off so like let's say if i didn't want to do a video today which there have been days i'm not gonna lie there have been days where i didn't want to post especially because this month has been hard on my family um i didn't want to post at all and it was kind of hard posting a video knowing what i was going through i'm like i don't want to do this right now because i'm not even happy i'm not even you know but i always think of others and if you know me you're like girl yeah you do i always think of everybody else before myself and that's what i'm doing through this process is thinking of everybody that has been watching and staying tuned that if this is helping someone watching or this is you know making somebody laugh i'm gonna keep doing that because i know for myself with what i'm facing in my family i'm gonna be okay at the end of everything so um that's why i wanted to be consistent so if you're going to do this or you're going to do any type of video or starting a youtube channel i would say consistency is key stay consistent on what you're doing you know of course you have a busy schedule if you have a busy schedule you know you have to kind of know how to navigate and balance everything out and i have definitely learned balancing and time management i've always been good on time management but this has helped me even more so of course with posting a video each day you have to be consistent and which brings me to my next piece of advice with being consistent you have to also be organized and plan things out so one thing i did i'll share with you guys a piece of advice i wrote down literally ideas that i wanted to do for my videos and as as each day kept coming along I had new ideas so i would write those in my notes and be like okay well if i don't do this when i originally thought i wanted to i'll switch days and do it next week and i'll do this one this week you know so if you do that that'll help you be consistent as well it's always good to write things out rather than keep it up here and remember it it's good to keep it up here and remember it but it's also good to write it down because when you write something down you're seeing it and then you're saying okay now i have to do that instead of just saying like okay i gotta make this video with my brother so that I can post it by this day. If I keep saying that and I don't actually write it down for me to see it, I'm not gonna be reminded. I'm gonna have so, uh, so many other things going on in my head where I'm gonna forget and I don't wanna forget. So that's a part of being consistent as well. So consistency and planning and organization is key. And let's see, last piece of advice I would give is have fun. I've had so much fun doing these videos for you guys. It's it's honestly helped this month go by quick and i even watch my own videos um some people don't but um like of youtubers i mean like some like youtubers may not watch their own videos after they post it but i love going back to be like oh i could have done that better or oh i could have added this so it helps you kind of you know get better at your own craft of course we are our worst critics and you know we judge ourselves harsher than others you know but be easy on yourself while you're going through the process because it's not easy it is a lot of work and you have to be consistent but definitely when you need rest get your rest but of course as much as you can stay consistent but most definitely i would say have fun you know if you're not having fun doing it then what's the point of doing it you know you never want to give out 
um, fake content, at least I never do. So that's why I would always tell you guys like, hey, I'm not gonna post this video today or I'm not gonna post at all today because I need a day. But despite everything like going you know, on right now, I did wanna post every day because this was my first time and I was like, I want to do this for myself and I wanna challenge myself to make it all the way till the 25th of posting videos each day. So I definitely wanted to do that for you guys. And you know, you just have to have fun doing, you have to find the joy of posting videos. You have to find the joy of going out and creating or finding things in your house and putting it together last minute for a video, you know, that you never thought of. So it's kind of cool to have that type of creative process, but I would definitely say have fun. Just enjoy everything that you're doing. And um, yeah, consistency, planning and organization. And last piece of advice is have fun. Have fun throughout the whole process of doing Vlogmas. Yes, it is a lot of work, but like I said, if you do those things that I told you, staying consistent, writing out things and writing them down, that will completely help your whole Vlogmas from day one to day 25. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys liked what was on my Christmas wish list if I had to say what I wanted for Christmas, because like I said, I don't really want anything for Christmas. And I also hope you guys enjoyed my reasoning behind why I wanted to do Vlogmas and giving you guys that are watching, if you want to do this next year, you know, big tips and advice. But I definitely will be doing this next year and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I, I'm already excited and I already have plans on what I want to do and I cannot wait. 2021 is going to be an amazing year. I can feel it. And, you know, we may not see you know what's going to happen in the future or what the end of the road might look like but just always have hope and have faith and you know just trust trust that everything will be okay and that's what i'm doing right now because i know 2021 is going to be so much better for us all all right well i love you guys so much i hope you have a wonderful sunday evening don't forget to like comment share and subscribe also turn on that bell post notifications so every time i post a video you guys are notified all right love you guys have a wonderful sunday Mwah.